Number one, Marilu Antiso, representing Top Dap and Top Benguet. Marilu challenged herself to try the world of pageantry for the first time while she can still wear high heels, boost her confidence, meet new friends, help her beneficiaries, and profoundly represent to her co even guests. She believes in the motto that let's get fit together. That's Miss Cordillera candidate number one, Marilu Antiso. Joanne is from Abra and she believes that be the change you wish to see in the world. Joanne joined this pageant to represent and promote her beloved province of Abra located in northern Luzon. Filled with stunning natural scenery, rich in cultural heritage, with plenty of exciting things to do when you're looking for your next destination. That's Miss Cordillera candidate number two from Abra. Joan Barbero. Appeal representing Rizal Town. She joined Miss Cordillera pageant because she is participating as an opportunity to reinvent herself, learning experience rather than competition. She believed that wearing her attire outside the country is one way for promoting culture as Cordillerans and being as a Filipino. From the municipality of Rizal Town, that's Miss Cordillera candidate number three, Lourdes Appeal. From Parasitis Mountain Province, Lorna believes that every step on the runway is a, is a step towards her dream. Lorna joins this pageant to make her family proud and want to show everyone that she can stand on her own feet alone in her own way. As she believes in herself and her family is her inspiration to continue this pageant. From Parasilis Mountain Province, Miss Cordillera candidate number four, Lorna Bayudan. Number 5 
representing Bantayan, Benguet, Esther Sandiwa. Esther believes that keep your feet on the ground but let your heart source as high as it will. She believes and she joined this pageant as it is around for a cause and she'd love to be a part of this charity event and help in any way and anyhow. That's Miss Cordillera candidate number five representing Mantayan Benguet, Esther Sandiwa. Number six, from Nayon Labod Ifugao, Feliz Ibawe. Feliz loves to travel, listening to music, hiking, arts, and photography. Feliz, join this pageant to become a channel and a useful tool in giving Lita the chance herself to try new things she hasn't done yet. That is Miss Cordillera candidate number six, Feliz Ibawe. loves photography and surfing the internet. She joined the pageant because it is a new experience in her life as she wanted to see how far she could go in the process of becoming who she will be this year. From Kiyangan Ifugao, candidate number seven, Leslie Ann Bilibli. Representing Pasil Kalinga is Rupila Basong. Rupila loves listening to poetry and she believes that smile can ease all kinds of intentions and smile can make her life longer. Why she joined the pageant? To boost her confidence. From Pasil Kalinga, Miss Cordillera candidate number eight, Rupilia Basong. Natonin Mountain Province, Juan, the one on site. She believes that being kind, you never know the battles others are fighting for. Joan loves playing the guitar and she believes that it is a crucial to be as a learning experience rather than a competition. Participating in a pageant like this is an opportunity for her to reinvent herself and develop, develop her self-confidence in front of a crowded audience. Miss Cordillera candidate number nine, Joan on set. Miss 
for the Liara Kennedy, number 10, representing Tabuk City, Jennifer Narag. Jennifer's main interest is dancing, and she believes just go with the flow of life. From Tabuk City, Miss Cordillera Kennedy, number 10, Jennifer Narag. <laughs> 